Hi friends, I hope everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video, we are here on the Guesses YouTube channel and we're going to be doing a fun, easy peasy thrift flip with this vintage pair of guest jeans. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Jenna, I'm a creator here on YouTube and I love doing DIYs, knitting, thrift flips, sewing, I just like making things. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own pair of patchwork jeans and it's going to be super easy, beginner friendly, you don't even need a sewing machine if you don't have one. But I'm also going to be showing different levels of how you guys can get more creative with this patchwork pair of jeans, but I'm also going to show you the simple way of how to get started with just doing thrift flips and doing a simple pair, or again, if you're a master of sewing, then we can make it super complicated, this pair of jeans, but you don't have to. And just like the last thrift flip I did on Guess's YouTube channel, when I thrift flipped this vintage sweater and I put these nice knit sleeves and collar on it, we're going to be doing another de non-deconstructive. We're not going to be taking this all apart because in a few years, if you don't like your patchwork, you can go ahead and just take it off and the jeans are good as new. Okay, let's get into the supplies you're going to need for this turf flip. So for the basic supplies you're going to need, if you want to do the beginner level of this turf flip, you're going to need a pair of jeans. Any pair of jeans will do. You're gonna need some fabric. These can be scrap, it can be store-bought, it can be thrifted, it can be from anywhere, but you just want some cotton fabric. Next, you're gonna want a rotary cutter, or if you don't have one, scissors will also work. You're gonna need some needle and thread. This is optional, but some adhesive spray will help. You're gonna need some rulers, an iron, and an ironing mat for your iron. It can also be an ironing board. I'm just using an ironing mat today. But our first step is we gotta take all our fabric pieces here and we gotta iron them real nice. So there's no creases or folds or anything. So I'm gonna turn this up nice and high, put a little bit of steam on, and start ironing these bad boys. As long as you have your iron on the cotton setting and you have a little bit of steam going, it should be fairly quick to iron each piece. And then once it's all nice and ironed, I am just going to fold it lightly and then just lay it on the table here so I don't get any new creases in the meantime. Gonna be taking our iron fabric and we're gonna be cutting it into shapes you definitely don't need this much fabric you could use just a little bit of fabric some scrap for your patchwork it just depends on how much patchwork you actually want on your pair of jeans so I'm gonna be cutting out majority of the pieces in squares and rectangles and from there we can make a few different shapes if you're wanting to do the advanced part of this thrift flip where I'm going to be taking these pieces and kind of quilting them together and making patchwork pieces to sew onto our jeans. But if that sounds too complicated for you, that is okay. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't need to worry about that. You can just cut out shapes of your fabric that you want to just sew right onto your pants. You don't need to sew them together before and you don't need a sewing machine for the beginner version. But either way, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna cut out all these pieces so they look perfect, like this square. And to do that, you're gonna need a rotary cutter, rulers, and mat, cutting mat. And if you don't have this, you can also use scissors. Although, it's not gonna be as accurate, it's not gonna be as easy to get nice, pretty squares and rectangles but it will work. So I am going to start with this fabric right here and I'm just gonna lay it down singly, so not folded. And I'm gonna start off with cutting the rectangle. So I'm going to cut this piece three inches wide for the rectangle. And when I'm cutting with my rotary cutter, you wanna have it pressed up against your ruler to get a very nice straight line, like this. So 
So for the majority of these pieces, I'm gonna cut them out as rectangles just because from there, I can make them into smaller squares, I can make them into triangles, or I can just leave them as rectangles. There's a big pile here. I got probably more than I need. And then I also cut out some even skinnier ones. These are two inches wide. Bigger ones are three inches wide. But I'm also cutting out some other rectangles that are not like, you know, these rectangles, like these rectangles, because these rectangles are just gonna be sewn on like this. They're not gonna be quilted together. We're just gonna slap them on like that. And this one is three inches by four inches. And that's a perfect size. I think that's a great size. Okay, maybe let's make a skinny one too, just for fun. Oh yeah, another great size. Oh yeah, that looks great. So now the fun part begins where we have our sewing machine out and we're gonna start sewing some of these patches or like almost all of them together. So I'm gonna pick just two that I think will look good together. This flower one and this pink one. And I'm just gonna put right sides together, line them up. It's okay if they're not lined up at the bottom there. We'll trim it. And I'm just gonna sew a straight line, straight seam, with a quarter inch seam allowance. Bam, bam, turkey chicken. Don't they look good? But this is what it looks like when you open it up. That's what it looked like when we sewed it. But I'm just gonna put this on the side and I'm gonna continue doing this with my rectangles until my heart feels like I'm done. And then we'll move on to the next step, which is a surprise. It's a surprise. We're turning those into squares, but I also have some just plain squares I cut out here and I'm gonna turn these into triangles and to do that I'm just gonna put right sides together like this and then down the center from here to here I'm gonna draw a line with my washable marker So like this now I'm gonna go my sewing machine and I'm going to sew one quarter inch seam allowance on this side and one quarter inch seam allowance on this side so two seams. Now I have two seams and I'm just gonna cut down the middle where I drew that line. There. And if we open it up, we have two triangles now that make a square. Just like that. So now I have my iron here and we're gonna be going back and forth for the next few steps. So it's nice to have your iron on the side, beside your sewing machine. So don't put either of them away because we're just going to quickly press all of these seams we have here. Now with these rectangles, I'm gonna start cutting them into squares because I wanna have square patchworks. That's where we're going with the rectangles. So I'm just gonna take my board, 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 rotary cutters, wow. And cut them into squares. So for the two inch one, I am just gonna go two inches over. 
and then cut it upwards like this. So now we got some squares. So now for the fun part. Now we're gonna take all our pieces and we're gonna start laying them over our jeans because now we need to figure out where we want them placed and also which pieces we wanna to put together because I'm gonna start sewing the squares together so they're kinda of like a checkered pattern. And then I'm also gonna take some of those flat pieces and just figure out where I want them to go. And then I'll have a whole bunch of leftover on the side which I won't use, but that's okay. We can save that for future projects. But this is the fun part where we can be creative, just kinda of mix match the pieces and figure out where we want everything to go so now my jeans they're looking good they're looking real good I got them all laid out but before I can start you know sewing all these pieces together I'm just gonna take my phone and take a quick picture of it so I know where everything's supposed to go and then I'm just gonna pick up all these pieces and just lay them down how they're supposed to be sewn together and then you know go sew them together for putting all of these pieces together now is the same thing as last time where we're just putting the right sides together and then sewing a quarter inch seam allowance. Now we got a square or checkered. You know what I mean. So now that everything's sewn together, we're gonna take the edges of all the corners and we're gonna fold it towards the back side and just iron it down. We want it to look like this because we don't want the edges to be shown when we sew it onto the jeans. If they are showing, then they will fray. So you're gonna wanna fold them all over so it looks nice and clean. You're also gonna wanna do it with any patches that you might have that are not sewn together. Just any raw edge you see, you want to fold it to the wrong side so it looks nice and pretty when you have it on the right side. So now everything's all done. We got all our patches. So now we're on the very last step, which is transferring, you know, putting these on the, the jeans. And unfortunately, because these jeans are already made, we can't just put them on the sewing machine and sew the patches on. I wish we could do that because then we'd be done in like five minutes, but we, we can't, we can't. Unfortunately, we have to hand sew all of these on, which is okay because then we'll make it nice and pretty. We'll do a little bit of embellishments. It's, it's, it's worth it, okay? So you can either use thread, just normal sewing thread, or you can use some embroidery thread, which is what I'm gonna use. This is a lot thicker than normal thread, so you can add different patterns and more color to your patchwork if you like this, or if you just want something super simple, just use this thread. But I wanna be a little extra, so I'm using this. And I have a lot of pretty colors. So you're gonna have to pull up your photo of the pants and I'm gonna do it individually each piece. I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, pin them all on and then go at it just because I've done that before and you really poke yourself a lot when you have pins everywhere for no reason. So I'm just gonna go one by one and pin one finish it, move on to the next one. And the first one I'm gonna do is this one and it's in the top corner right below the pocket here. So I'm just gonna pin this on. There we go, it's just loosely pinned on there. So I'm just gonna unravel about maybe a foot and a half Trim it, and then I'm going to take the yarn, thread, thread, and split it in two. There we go. Now just thread it on the needle. Got it threaded 45 years later. <sighs> Anyways, now you wanna have both the ends the same length at the bottom here, and then you're gonna just wanna tie a knot. Like this. 
now it's threaded so now we can start actually sewing these on and what I like to do is just a simple weave pretty much a simple stitch is you're just gonna go up through the fabric and then back down and you're just kind of wave you're gonna be like a dolphin almost like just through the fabric but I'll show you up close I'll show you up close using pins you can also use the adhesive spray that I showed you at the beginning and you can adhere all the patches onto your jeans instead of pinning them off and how to use it what you do is you get a scrap piece of paper you put your patch down right side down you spray it you go a little tap 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 around the edges just so it sticks and they don't come out when you're sewing then I give it one more spray it should be very tacky in the back now. You take it over to your jeans, you pat it on there, put it in the right place. If you don't, it's okay, you can take it off and redo it. And then it stays in place so nicely, so when you go and you sew, it's just a lot, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier, you can go and put all your patches on your jeans at once, and then sit on the couch and just sew your little heart away while you watch a movie. Maybe you're watching Harry Potter, maybe you're not, I don't know. but. It's a lot easier and this is the route I went for putting all the patches on and sewing them and it saved me a lot of time in the long run. jeans. I ended up spending a few hours just sitting on my couch, listening to a book, and just, you know, hand sewing. It was actually quite relaxing, a good way to spend my evening. But now it is nighttime, it is dark, and I am done my patchwork jeans. And the one thing is, they're going to look a little different from when I showed you guys last time when I was laying them all out. I did add more because when I finished them, all the patches I showed you guys, I just felt like there was something missing. So I did add more patches to my pants here and you'll see. Just because I felt like it was too organized. I needed it to be a little bit more messy, a little bit more cluttered and a little bit more patch-like. It was just too organized for me. So slightly different, but... I'm really happy with them now. Okay, I'll show you guys. Ta-da! See? They're a little bit more cluttered and messy now, which is what I like. Because originally, both legs looked kind of like this leg, and it was just too balanced, too symmetrical, too organized, and I just like was not feeling the composition, so I ended up adding a few more patches here, 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 and it just, you know, added more so they weren't symmetrical, the legs anymore, a little bit less negative space over here, and more on this side, and I just feel like it's more balanced now. It looks a lot better. I'm super happy with them. I love the color palette, just the patterns, it's just... <laughs> Round of applause for me. I did a good job. Or at least I think I did a good job, but here are my jeans. I don't know if they're complete and they're finished forever. I might keep working on them in the future, maybe add some more to the back because I did just work on the front, or maybe I'll just leave them with this. I'm not really sure. It's a piece of art, and is art ever finished? Like, when do you know if art's finished? So here they are for now, and maybe forever. Who knows? Well, 
that is it for today's video here on the Guesses YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and making these thrift flip patchwork jeans. I had a blast, so I hope you guys had a blast too. But if you guys want to see more thrift flips and DIYs, be sure to subscribe to the Guesses YouTube channel and also let me know down in the comments what your favorite color is. And it, mine, mine is green if you cared. But I'm gonna go. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, dandy day, and I'll see you guys around. Bye!